Hi guys! Currently, there are many tools supporting users in creating clean browsers to manage multiple accounts on the same device. Many of you have contacted me asking for reviews on these tools, but now I finally have time to do so. In this video, I will introduce to you the most popular tools and test their quality, checking their trust score on Creep.js. Stay tuned! Why do you need to care about creating clean browsers when farming multiple accounts? Because clean browsers have browser fingerprint parameters and clean IP addresses that haven't fallen to websites blacklists and you can manage multiple accounts on the browser as normal. Many of you guys encounter cases where they've changed their IP addresses but still can't bypass websites. Simply because their browser fingerprint parameters have been blacklisted by the website. This could be due to previous account bans, suspicious behavior, policy violations, and so on. To farm a large number of accounts on the same device, you need to create clean browsers so that websites recognize them as different users. Anti-Detect Browser is currently the most popular tool among MMO for creating clean browsers due to its ability to bypass websites and optimize costs. Virtual machines like VPS or VMware are suitable for small-scale business or accessing websites with shallow detection because virtual machines lack a graphics card, so they can still be detected by websites. So, which anti-detect browser is the most stable and reasonable to use? In this video, I will introduce to you the top 4 most stable anti-detect browsers on the market today, GoLogin, HideMyAc, AdsPower, and DolphinAnti. Some may wonder why multi-login isn't included. The reason is that it's expensive and doesn't offer a trial version, so I don't recommend it, especially for newbies. Check out other tools first, and the ones with free trials are even better. First up is HideMyAc. Those who follow my channel already know that I'm currently using HideMyAc for my deals. It's stable and smooth, so I haven't felt the need to switch. HideMyAc is an anti-detect browser developed by Vietnamese folks, supporting downloads on both Windows and Mac OS. The pricing of HideMyAc is quite reasonable, starting from $10 per month for 5 profiles. They offer packages ranging from 5 to 30 profiles, suitable for personal usage needs. If you buy annually, you'll get a 50% discount. After downloading the tool, you'll get a 7-day trial with 30 profiles upon account registration. This is the interface of HideMyAc. The main features are located in the left-hand menu. When creating new profiles on HideMyAc, you can customize the settings according to your needs. The data here is always updated to the latest browser version, currently Chrome 123. HideMyAc provides free proxies, but you need at least the base package to use them. If you want to purchase external proxies, you can visit HideMyAc's proxy store to get a discount code. Discounts range from 5 to 15%, depending on the provider. Apart from creating a clean environment for registration and account management, you can use HideMyAc's automation feature to automate various tasks. There are three different ways to create automation scripts. The first is to drag and drop available commands, suitable for those who want to customize their own script but are not familiar with code. The second is importing external code. The third is to record actual user actions on the website to export to automation scripts with complete accuracy. For those who are lazy to create, using the system's available scripts is also fine. I see there are about 30 different scripts available, serving the basic needs of users. HideMyAc also collaborates with other parties to create many tools for each platform, and there's already Autoface for Facebook. In addition to automation, I think there's another feature that many people will be interested in, which is profile transfer. HideMyAc can help you transfer profiles from all other anti-detect browsers with the same working environment, just paste the link into the browser and create a new profile. Next, I'll compare HideMyAc profiles with the profiles I use on the original browser. I'll create a profile using Windows Operating System, Chrome version 123, leaving the rest of the parameters to be randomly generated by the system. I'll check the trust score on Creepjus and compare the parameters that HideMyAc has faked with those of the real browser. I'll do the same with the other anti-detect browsers. The trust score on Creep.js for the real browser I'm using is 66.5. HideMyAc also gets a similar score. 
Let's continue comparing the remaining browser fingerprint parameters. I haven't added proxies, so the time zones of these two profiles are the same. The GPU, RAM, WebGL, screen size, canvas, font, etc. are all different. This website checks each parameter thoroughly, some are quite technical, and I might not be able to explain them, so I'll show the comparison on the screen for you to evaluate. Similarly, I'll compare the two profiles created on Heidnack to see if the faked parameters differ. The operating system and browser selected are the same, but parameters like WebRTC, device, WebGL, screen size, font, canvas, etc. have all been changed. This will help websites recognize these profiles as independent devices, not linked to each other. You can also check on many other websites, but Creep.js is one of the most reputable and in-depth ones. Next up is GoLogin. This is one of the few anti-detect browsers that support an app on Android phones. This tool supports downloads on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. The trial package offers 7 days with 1,000 profiles. The interface of the tool is quite intuitive and easy to use. To create a new profile, you click on the Add Profile button. The system will randomly generate browser fingerprint parameters, or you can customize them according to your needs. If you want to change to a new set of parameters, click on New Fingerprint. However, the parameters don't change much, mainly, it changes the screen size, font, and media devices. Each user is allowed to use up to 1,000 profiles for free in 7 days, so I'm not sure if there might be duplicated parameters. GoLogin offers free residential proxies. I tested them before, and the quality wasn't very reliable. It's best to use your own proxies. Users can also create different workspaces and add members to share access to profiles within that workspace. GoLogin also allows users to transfer profiles from the anti-detect browser Dolphin Anti to GoLogin while maintaining the same operating environment. This feature is very useful, but currently, it only supports Dolphin Anti, and I haven't seen support for other tools. Next, I'll check the trust score and compare it with the real browser. GoLogin profiles are also rated at 66.5 on Creep.js. And when compared to the real browser, many browser fingerprint parameters have been changed. In terms of browser quality, I haven't encountered any issues. The third anti-detect browser I want to introduce to you is AdsPower. This one is quite famous among those running Facebook ads because it can provide ad campaign reports for all advertising accounts on the same screen. In addition to the free package with 5 profiles, AdsPower offers two other packages starting from $9 per month for 10 profiles. This tool supports downloads for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. This is the tool interface after logging into your account. Basically, the process of creating new profiles is similar to the two tools I just introduced. AdsPower has two browser engines, Sun Browser, built on the Chromium engine, and Flower Browser, built on Firefox. It depends on your usage needs. When you click on the New Fingerprint button, the system will randomly generate different sets of parameters for you. One notable feature of AdsPower that you can consider is creating automated scripts to manage accounts. They also provide pre-existing commands, and you can add commands according to your needs to create your own scripts. In the Marketplace section, there are also many free automation scripts for you to reference. The trust scores of ads power profiles on Creepjas are quite stable, generally above 60 points. If compared to the original Chrome browser that I'm using, the trust scores are nearly the same.
And the last anti-detect browser I want to introduce to you today is Dolphin Anti. This one also has a separate tool for Facebook and TikTok, which are quite useful, although the TikTok tool is currently in beta. Today, I'll focus only on the anti-detect browser Dolphin Anti. You can explore the other two tools later. I noticed that even their smallest package is $89 for 100 profiles, but they do offer a free package with 10 profiles. Of course, the free package won't have all the features of the other packages, but it's still an option if you want to try it out. Dolphin Anti also supports downloads on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. This is the interface of the tool after downloading. Overall, it's pretty user-friendly. Similar to the other anti-detect browsers I've introduced, you can either customize your settings or the system will randomly generate browser fingerprint parameters for you. Basically, I didn't find anything particularly different about Dolphin Anti. It also doesn't have automation like Go Login or Hide My Act. The trust score on Creep.js for Dolphin Anti is quite stable, around 66.5 points. Compared to the real browser, the score is okay. In general, I find the quality of the browsers from the anti-detect tools I've introduced to be quite good. Some deals may require direct testing to determine their suitability. I'll provide a general comparison for you all. However, there are some points I want to summarize. For those who need to start with smaller packages before scaling up, they should choose Hide Myac, Adds Power, or Dolphin Anti, as GoLogin only offers packages starting from 100 profiles. For those interested in automation, both Hide Myac and Ads Power offer this feature. The process of creating scripts for these two is quite similar. However, Hide Myac provides more options, allowing users to import external code and record user interactions on websites. In terms of features, besides creating clean browsers, Hide Myac and Go Login offer the most additional features to support users, such as creating subaccounts, transferring profiles from other tools, managing proxies, and more. Regarding support, Hide Myac has an advantage, both in terms of language and support availability. For those still undecided, I suggest testing. All the tools I've introduced offer trial versions, so take your time to test them. Today's video is quite long, so I'll see you in another video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, and I'll answer them all. If you found the video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye, and see you in the next videos.